open it. Oh, look what we've gathered. An old boot, some seaweed, some coral, and a dead dogfish. Cool. Hey, is an old boot anything you'd be interested in? Yes. What is he giving us? A treasure, an octo chest. What is going on, geeks? Unite the Clans here, back in your life with another episode of Don't Starve Shipwrecked. This, of course, is our run as Walani. Oh, look. We got some rot. How much? Seven. Oh, that's so much. Okay, let's finish fertilizing. Fertilize ya. Fertilize ya. Sweet. And I think I have some more crap over here that's worth fertilizing. Yeah, get this grass going. And it's the perfect amount, too. Get... Yes. Maybe I'm a more of a genius than I thought. Maybe I put seven down knowing exactly what I needed. I was in the middle of my intro, wasn't I? What's going on? Welcome back. Here we go again. I got a plan for today, and that plan is to catch all the fish. So, I've gathered the required resources and prepared a trawl net. I have no idea how this thing's gonna go, but we're gonna set out to sea. I've made a new grass hat, which is supposed to help keep you dry, and um, we're gonna hit the ocean in this armored-ass boat. And we're going to go where the fish are, which I think is down by the Yarktopus. Is this a thing I equip? It is a thing I equip. Okay, let's get near fish. Let's get near fish. Oh, yeah. Watch that. Watch those waves. Easy, girl. Okay. Okay, they're gone. The fish are gone. So, trawl net equipped. Oh, and you have to paddle. I see. It's an alternative. Get paddled. Have I caught anything? They're, they're disappearing on me. Maybe it's for the dogfish. I don't know. I should have Googled it first. Shouldn't I? You've forced my hand, dogfish. I'll follow you to the edges of the earth. Yes. No, I'm getting just wrecked out here. Chasing this fool around. Huh. Well, I'm not sure how the old trawl net works. I didn't have a better plan for today, except to keep Walani happy, healthy, not starving to death, not going insane, not mortally, brutally injured or wounded. All right, so let's head, let's go back to where those schools of fish swim around, and maybe this trawl net isn't for the dogfish. Maybe it's for these, which are just floating up here. And if I take my time, maybe, maybe they won't just evaporate in front of my eyes. There. How? How does it work? I have no idea how it works. Unequip it. Oh, no. Open it. Oh! Look what we've gathered! An old boot, some seaweed, some coral, and a dead dogfish. Cool. So close the net, open the net. Oh, and I guess I just gotta take everything out. And... And is it done? Is that a sack of sea goodies? Now what? I just drop it and it's gone? And you gotta make another one? Huh. If that's the case, we gotta get a bamboo farm going. Here, let's see if my mouse can help the situation. No, it won't. Okay, jellyfish, I'll, I'll chop you silly. Alright, well we've gathered some resources. I imagine that old boot. Huh, I guess this just stays here now? Hey, is an old boot anything you'd be interested in? Yes! What is he giving us? A treasure- an octo chest! Lord, guys, we have just traded an old boot in exchange for an octo chest. And she goes, booty yeah! Open it! Gold coins. I guess if your goal is to collect gold coins, that's one thing. Uh, where's my sail? Don't I have a snakeskin sail? Yes, put this up. Equip it. Put on my night light. And then you sail in damn style. We'll make another trawl net. I guess we're going to need lots of grass. So it's nine grass and two bamboo to make that trawl net. That feels like a decent trade. If you can make sure you use it until it's full. And then drag it back close to home. Maybe that's how you do it. Maybe you have to drag it close to shore. We'll mess around with it. We'll play around with the idea. But, uh, oh. Make sure that light goes off quickly going down turn off okay and i will exit the damn boat and we're back here last episode we built this chimney gorgeous 
Uh, and last episode, we used up all the fuel we had for it. I seem to not have any right now, so let's see if I can't chop a damn thing down and get us some wood. Yeah, okay. At least these trees are starting to grow back. It's a good thing. UTC got an axe in his inventory? Doesn't appear so. There we go. And we'll make sure we're geared up for nighttime. I just need a little bit of wood and we'll get through it fine. And now we've added a couple more trees to the island. So those will eventually grow back. We got lots and lots of berries to pick. We should make a whole ton of jam. That's what I made last episode. So what do we have? Let's cook dead jellyfish. Because you can't put dead jellyfish in a crock pot. You can put cooked jellyfish. So we'll do that with some seaweed and a couple things of berries, maybe? And we'll cook it. Berries are a major component in just about every recipe I do here. <laughs> More rot. Cool. Um, Alright, there you go. That's that last bit of log. Oh. Some more coral? That can be dropped. We're not going to be using coral in it. Okay, we got a ratatouille out of it. Decent. Um, what else do I have that needs cooking? Dogfish. Cook it, and we're going to cook it with a bunch of berries? I guess so. Dogfish it is. You know, worst case scenario, you just keep making jam. You just keep making jam until you, you can't... You can only survive on a certain amount of jam. It doesn't really fulfill all your nutritional categories, as far as I... As far as I understand the process of preserving fruit. Okay, meatballs. Some dogfish meatballs. Life is good. We got ratatouille. We got meatballs. We got some rot, which I've, apparently I could eat and cook. Not going to. And since we got all this jam and it's going bad, we'll do this. Or all these berries. We'll get that cooking. All right, so another trawl net is in order, and that means harvesting some grass. Um, the grass, I have hesitated to uh, replant into what resembles a farm, and I've just been gathering it like this because um, it needs to be fertilized, and I haven't really had a, like an excess for most of the game of berries or manure or anything, even flower petals that I could turn into manure. Um, berries now are a resource we got a ton of, so we might be able to get away with, you know, digging up some of this grass and moving it to a more central location so it's easier to harvest the resource. Yeah, I don't know if that trawl net's worth it. We'll mess around. We'll see what we can do. I, yeah, I, I think, I think it will be. Let's get enough for two trawl nets, and we'll definitely dig up and fertilize our, um, bamboo. Because bamboo is something that this island doesn't have a ton of, and keeping it all close and in the same spot, I feel like that would be a wise bet. Yeah, I'll have to figure out exactly how those trawl nets work. That's one to let me know about in the comments if you're a don't starver, you know the game inside out, and you play it hard, play it often. Tell me what I'm doing wrong. And I'll get this shovel going, and we'll dig up. I guess this is a day of farming. And we started it off with a little fishing, but the truth is we really need to get... Uh, get ourselves covered in terms of the basics. I know building walls would be a wise idea. Now, my big worry with that is it's going to be a grind. I'm going to be collecting tons of resources to make walls. Uh, and I can't, I, one, I don't want to make you watch it. And two, if I do cut it out and I don't put it in the video and I die, that'll be a horrible way to end a series. Oh, guys, I died, but not on camera. So, I've been putting off building the walls, but the walls protect you. I guess they make it easier to fight whatever, and they keep some of your stuff from blowing away. I don't really know. I've never made it a whole lot deeper into the game than where we're at today. Is my shovel broken? Really? Mother effer. Make a new shovel. And just keep digging up bamboo. We're going to make a bamboo farm. How much rot? We got 11 rot. So, I'm going to make sure I have at least 11 bamboo. At least. I, I've said in the past that I think it's beautiful that Clay made this game. They, um, this, this DLC and they made it for the whatever five bucks I spent on it. I know it's got a ton in common with old Don't Starve. All the, the mechanics and the tools and a lot of that stuff is the same. 
but the environment is totally different. This feels like a new game. It feels like a sequel to Don't Starve more than it feels like an expansion, um, if you ask me at least. And uh, selling you this for five bucks, it feels like a steal if you already own Don't Starve. Uh, I, I own, I think everything, everything Don't Starve related. I own Don't Starve together too. I got the Reign of Giants DLC. That would be something fun to do at some point. I just, I'm hesitant to make a series on it, mainly because it's older. It's it's not as new, and uh, I think fewer people would be around to watch a Reign of Giants stream, and there's few enough people watching uh, Shipwrecked as is. I watch other YouTubers playing this game, and I just, I wish more people were into this and watching their series. You know, YouTubers who say normally get a thousand views on a video get, I've seen them get a few hundred only on um, Don't Starve, and for me, I think I've averaged 120 odd views a video at least over the course of my Firewatch Let's Play and obviously that number steadily going up and this series back when I was playing it it got 14 to 20 views an episode so significantly less. Now Firewatch of course brand new and hot and I was also giving away a copy of the game which made people associate me and my channel a little more with it than they do with uh, Shipwrecked but yeah I, I like it. I really enjoy playing it and as I mentioned this this game's a challenge. It uh, pushes me to my limits, and it makes me ca sort of carry on with something I'm not freaking very good at. It's a hard game, and hard games, you either quit or you stick with them. And sticking with them always feels rewarding. Uh, Ratatouille, let's see what that does for our hunger. And I'm going to eat these damn meatballs, too. Let's get fully healed up. Uh, some berries. I'm just going to keep filling this thing. And we'll see what we can't make. Uh, did I go another day without collecting wood? I did. So we'll get a basic one going there. And I'll go chop down a tree real quick. Man, I gotta get us stocked up with wood. We're having to go farther and farther to find a, our knight's lumber. And into this freaking snake-infested, demon-ridden, reptile-infested... Yeah, it's terrible, this part of the island at night. I don't like it. It's obviously not as bad as having monkeys or any nonsense like that, but... Oh, my controller's giving me a hard time here. Get out of the way. Stop chasing me, you mother effing snake, you fool. Get lost. All right, I'll chop your, chop your stupid snake face. Get messed up. All right, monster meat it is, and we'll head back. And it's too late. It's almost frickin' nighttime. I push this to the limit every goddamn time. One of these days, I'm just gonna get caught. I I'm always, even when I'm playing solo, I, I wait way too long to get back here. And then I'm walking through the dark, trying to remember where my chimney is so I can throw some logs in it. As, as you know, I'm about to be consumed by the darkness. So what do we got here? Uh, so let's throw in an egg, a banana, uh... And some berries. We'll see what we come up with. And uh, this jam, it's not great, but I mean that heals all your categories, and that's hard to complain about. We, I mean, we might be in a decent shape just because of that. Okay, that fire's going down. Let's stoke the mother and add some fuel. I gotta plant some trees. I gotta remember to plant some trees. All right, and in the morning when the light comes back, we'll set out and we'll make our bamboo farm. We got 19 stocks of bamboo, which means I'm going to need a whole lot more rot. So let's drop all those berries there on the ground. We'll let those slowly start to go bad. God, we're on the verge. It's day 19. I'm almost about to make it into the second season of this game for what might well be the first time. I don't know if I've made it into day 21. I have to take a break in the middle of most of these episodes because I'm going to show you an ad anyway and we're probably 13 or so minutes into this one. So why don't I take that break, geeks, and I will come back with you in the morning when the sun is out and we're starting a bamboo plantation. Little monster meatballs coming right up. Get that cooking. And off we go. Another glorious damn day. And it's bamboo planting time. Uh, I don't know if, he, uh, if we're going to make it deep into this game, if I'm going to survive beyond where I normally have, or if the end is imminent and coming. But uh, getting this going uh, and near all this grass means that we're going to be able to make more of those trawl nets. We're going to be able to fish more. And these, of course, will need to be fertilized. So this is going to be a 
bit of a slow process. I have enough to do about half the batch now. I guess I should get this shovel out and clear some of the way. Dig up some of these trees. Take that. Take that. Oh yes, that's the work song. That's the you have nothing to worry about song. That's the get down to business and plant some other effing bamboo song. Get planted. Yeah, it looks weird when it's unfertilized. I don't like I don't know if I like it. it makes me vaguely uncomfortable. <laughs> Alright, well, there you go. That'll do. We're getting there. How many more? I have four more. Okay. And yeah, you'll get planted. You'll get planted. You'll get planted. And that's it. Okay, cool. Now let's get to work on bringing these to life. Fertilized, fertilized, fertilized. Cool. And I bet coming out of that, we got enough bamboo to make a half a dozen troll nets. We'll see. I don't know if I have enough grass, which has to turn into rope. I think I have enough for nine. Oh, we're out. Okay, cool. Well, let's, um, let's see then. How much rope can you make? How much rope do you want to make? Why don't we do three for now? And uh, we'll make another trawl net, and we'll go out and we'll see. Uh, this is a day of fishing. This is a day on the lake. Another trawl net, and I ain't quitting until this thing's full. I have a vague idea of how it works now. You just go around, you just travel around, and uh, and hopefully you come back with something great. Speaking of traveling around, where is it that we should go if we're just trying to get? Yeah, let's try and head. Let's try and head uh, east. This sail is pretty good, man, that it's at 90%. This boat's armored, it's defended. I don't know what the purpose of the armored boat is. Maybe it, it takes wear and tear less, something like that. But we have a we have a little bit of unknown here. Oh, I guess I can't use the sail and the trawl net at the same time, right? All right, trawl net it is, and we'll paddle out to see. We'll see, maybe you have to go through those schools of fish or near the dogfish to come up with something, or maybe you just need to have it on there while you're paddling. And if we're going to be paddling, if we're setting off into the open ocean, as we've done many a time in this game, we're not doing it for no reason. We're doing it... Oh. We're doing it uh, to get... What? Okay, there you go. We're doing it to discover, to explore, to see what the hell is out there in this world. I just saw like a manta ray. A sil little silhouette of a... Air. Yeah. See these things? Stingray. Stinkray. Gross. Wow. Weird. They are so weird. Are they supposed to be above the water? They are, uh... A bad thing might have just happened, guys. We have been poisoned by whatever the hell these are. Some kind of skunk ray, and they're on us. Like, oh, shoot! There you go! I was waiting. I was waiting for the time when, um... Things would stop going my way, and I think it may have happened. What the hell are those? Those are some kind of weird... Oh! Hello! Bottlenose Balfin. I'm getting poisoned. I would love to hang out with you guys. But, um, I would love to hang out with you, but I need to get back and try and find some sort of cure for my poison, which I think that means killing snakes? Snakes or, or spiders? One of them, one of them drops a gland. God. This is not gonna be good. Getting poisoned is a nightmare. And I didn't realize that it could happen just by fishing. Oh, look! Look, the trawl net is freaking full! I think we've done it. Or it's partially full. I'm going to leave it there for now. We'll, we'll harvest the resources another time. Uh, i got to get back, and i got to make sure I don't die. It's nighttime, so let's get a fire going. Let's try and survive the night, and I'll see about killing some snakes in the morning. Okay. Killing some snakes in the morning. Get this all into my inventory. And drop that, and then that way we can put on the armor, drop the backpack, get the spear out, and be ready to fight first thing in the AM. But uh, we're going to have to make it. We're going to have to make it. I mean, this poisoning, maybe it eventually wears off, maybe? Healing solve was a thing. Honey poultice, what is that? Use science to cure yourself. None of these things are right. I need four golden, okay. Uh... Bird trap, net, fishing rod. There. 
Nope, that doesn't help. None of this helps. None of these things are helping right now. Straw roll meaning sleep through the night. That's a bonus. That is almost always a bonus. So let's try that. We'll see if we can't sleep through the night and hopefully wake up not dead. Where did I find that? I have no idea. This is frustrating me. I'm getting into parts of this game that I don't spend time in. Straw roll. Cool. We'll put this down. We'll pick it up. We'll sleep. In complete darkness? I hope not. Alright, morning is here. And we're sick. And it's day 21 and the world has changed, guys. Look at the shaders. Look at the... Look at the way the world looks. That's the single result of having gone into the next season in the game. The yellow tinge to everything is replaced with a blue tinge. We are deeper. Uh, you can tell me what the names of these episodes are in the comments, but I think I gotta find some snakes and kill them, and hopefully they drop a gland. Or do I have spiders on my map anywhere? If I have spiders on my map anywhere, there's a small chance we can make it and survive. This is gonna. This is some noob stuff, isn't it? I probably shouldn't be dying. As there was, there's probably a really easy way to cure being poisoned. But you just happen to watch the YouTube channel of a complete noob. I don't see any spiders. Have I not found spiders in this whole... There's those stink rays, mother effers. Just ruined my day. I'll tell you that much. Alright. Um, I'm going to make finding a snake the goal. And in the meantime, I guess we could just keep feeding ourselves berries. Flower petals. Fla yeah, I guess we're going to have to go with the flower petals. Let's keep picking those. And snakes. I don't see ya. I don't see snakes. God, this is... There. There's one. Alright. Oh, yes! It's a poisonous snake. I think that's what we needed. No! I got poisoned again. I got double poisoned, and he just dropped monster meat. Uh, this... I think we're approaching the end. It's been a pleasure having you guys watch. Uh... I hope the series continues beyond this moment, but, um, I don't know if it will. Uh, so with that in mind, I'm actually gonna save and quit and see if I can research it, and then when you see me back in the next episode, I will hopefully have the damn answer. Let's stop this before it's too late and I die altogether. Eat all this. Heal yourself, fool. Thank you so much for watching this episode, guys, and I will see you in the next one. What is going on, Geeks Unite the Clans here, back in yo life with another brand new series. This is the Rusty Lake Hotel. It is a macabre, creepy, point-and-click adventure game.